In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but the Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountain the Lord loves, the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Philistria, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there. And of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled. This man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, 
but you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. continue to see today the beautiful relationship that Jesus has with his Father. We see that especially in the, in the last line today, the Father and I are one. But I want to focus on this other line that's just, just above it a, a little bit more, a little bit, a little more. He says, no one can take them out of my hand. Speaking there about his sheep who have come to him. And what does that mean? In a way, you know, it sounds just very poetical that we entrust ourselves to him and he's, he's got us in his hand. And that's true, of course, very beautiful. But what does it mean? How does he have us in his hand? And how has the Father handed us, his sheep, over to his hand? Well, of course, there are a number of ways. Of course, God the Father is the Father of all, and so he has entrusted all of us over to Jesus. But what was the mission that was primarily given to Jesus but to go all the way to the cross? And of course, there he enters into everything that might cause us pain or suffering. He enters into all of it. And there as he is, on the cross, he refuses to be removed. He is nailed to it. But it's his love that really, it's not just the nails that keep him there on the cross, but it's his love that keeps him cemented there so that we would know, in no matter what comes our way, that he is living in us, that he has come to us, that we are not lost by him, that far from it, he's, he's actually living in us. You know, we're, we're struggling through this coronavirus pandemic. Maybe you, I'm sure that you have in some way have experienced some pain or suffering, perhaps isolation. I, and there might be a question, has God forgotten me in this isolation? But of course, in the cross, we know, no, he has gone to that place, nudged us closer into his hands, there closer to his wounds, his wounded hand, there to know him more deeply. Perhaps you've lost a job or have lost someone close to you. Perhaps you're full of anxiety or or whatever it is that you might be struggling during this time. Now is the time that we, Jesus' sheep, know even more deeply that we are in his hand when we experience these sufferings because that is where Jesus has gone. That is where Jesus lives. That's where Jesus refuses to remove himself from. There we can listen to him. If he's gone to that place of suffering, he brings with it, of course, his life, his mercy, his love. So today we're invited to listen close to him as he speaks to us in our woundedness, in our sufferings, because that is where he is. We, have, we are not escaping his hand. We're being, more, being drawn more deeply into them today. We offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. For leaders of the church, may Christ guide them in shepherding their people with a spirit of love, compassion, and solidarity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civic leaders, may God grant them wisdom 
in carefully addressing the problems that face their communities, in a particular way, the, our, the great problem of the world, of the, of, the pen, of the global pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who are sick and those who are homebound and lonely, may God bring them comfort, love, and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the Lord in his favor grant us strength in remaining faithful to him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an end to the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who have died, especially for Bishop Paul Serba, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they be welcomed into the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, who is Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Pray together our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, My Jesus I, believe I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite, unite myself wholly to, to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, 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 Ma. 